Hey guys, Carly here. Thank you for once again for tuning into my YouTube channel. I hope last night you enjoyed my I'm back slash Glee vlogs video. Um, and I hope some of you have commented. Um, so today is my first Glee vlog, which I'm back. And I'm just going to check now to see if you guys commented on anyone in particular that you wanted me to do my Glee vlog on today. So let's just have a look. No, you guys didn't. That's all right. So today I will be choosing my Glee vlog that I want to do on who, who I want to do it on. And I will be doing it on as much as I love all of the Glee cast members equally. I'm going to do it on my personal favourite Glee cast member and my favourite character, which is if you do follow me, you will know I do have an account for her. Um, you will probably know me if you follow me, I guess, because I put my Glee vlogs video up yesterday on that channel. But um, yes, it is Leah Michelle who plays Rachel Berry on Glee. And she is just such an amazing person and she's such a strong and inspirational person because a few years back now you know in the Glee fandom we had a very tragic event that shook us all up and you know Leah she came out the other side through all that heartache and all that grief and you know just showed us what a strong and inspirational person is and I think that you know, she was just an amazing role model because a lot of us lost an idol and another inspiration in our lives. And I don't know about you guys, but personally for me, she just helped so much knowing that there was kind of an idol who I could relate to that was going through kind of the same emotions that I was feeling. And I think that is something that made me admire Leah even more than I already did so yeah so in this video I'm going to tell you kind of about my love for Leah kind of thing um three facts that you may or may not know about Leah Michelle and also kind of in each of these vlogs I do an update on what happened in that week of how uh, sorry not how many I'm thinking about two years ago guys in Glee um, so bear in mind though, when I talk about the Glee, um, in the UK, which is where I'm from, we've only started seeing the last few episodes of the Glee last season, so please bear that in mind when I am talking about it to you guys. So anyway, so like I've said, I kind of guess I've said how much I love Leah and that, but I just think, you know, she's someone who, you know, has had a lot of pressure put on her in her life you know to look a certain way as she always says when she's going out for auditions and she never stopped giving up and she really you know carried on with that perspective of she's happy with herself and things like that and she got so far with it and I just think you know that's such an important message that she always tells us you know believe in yourself and you know I have had a lot of trouble in my life but I would not be happy with myself if it not been for Leah so she has saved me and she is just truly amazing and such an idol for me and I seriously love her like nothing else um but yeah this week in Glee we are on the episode in the UK the Her Locker part two currently um which was aired last week um, basically, just quick bullet points in this, because I don't want to make this video too long, because I know people get bored if videos are too long. Um, Klain has obviously broken up since the beginning of the season, which I was very, very upset about, I might add, because Klain are like one of my OTPs. And anyway, so we found out in the last episode before this, The Hurt Locker Part 1, that Sue is like Klain shipper majorly and she kind of wanted to get them back together so she locked him in an elevator and kind of got this weird sue robot toy to come up and like say stuff about how perfect clane is and things like that and you know clane would like to see look we're just friends that's all we'll ever be and basically sue who i love is not standing for it she is not standing for it and i love that so, good on Sue there. I don't 
dislike Sue for trying to bring the Khaleesi to come down for once, although I love Sue anyway, because she kind of makes the whole show as well. But I love her anyway. I love it even more now that she's a claimed shipper. Anyways, on the other hand, um, obviously it was invitationals in this episode, and the Warblers and the New Directions were supposed to perform, um, the, but Sue put in some new rules that there had to be at least 12 members, which is the rules, obviously, of a Shogwa competition. Um, so I completely understand her doing that. And um, Rachel had to, like, start recruiting loads of people and things like that. And Kurt suggested that, well, why don't you get Kitty, to, who is played by the fabulous Becca Toby, to join the Glee Club? I mean, Rachel's a bit like, oh, I don't know. I wasn't nice to any of the Glee Club members last year, which is like Ryder, Marley, Unique and all them. And she was like, no, I'm not going to get them to join. And... She, in the end, she decided, to, I, do you know what my best chance of recruiting members is to get Kitty. So she went to Kitty and she was, you know, learning lots of stuff about Kitty. And Kitty actually helped her hack into Sue's computer and choose the music. Which, in the end, won the invitations, which was really, really, really good. So I was really happy about that. And that's kind of basically the main points, I suppose, of this particular episode or I do love this friendship that is started before between um Rachel and Kitty though I love um Beck Shell in real life anyway because I think they're just like they're so cute them too I mean Becca and Leah come on how can you not love them two friendship together it's just like so cute oh I just love it all the pictures I love it anyway back on subject the three facts before I finish off this video that you may or may not know about Leah Michelle number one she was born in Bronx, New York, and sometimes I think she doesn't act like a New Yorker by the, at her, I mean, not in that way, but her accent and everything, but then when you see how she acts with her personality and her love for Broadway, you can just totally tell, and that brings me on to my second fact that you may or may not know about Leah, she went with her friend to an audition and decided I was going to audition just as a joke. Little did she know that she would get the part in the Broadway show Les Mis, and that would take off her acting career. Thirdly, as she said in her memoir, that uh, Brunette and Brishon, she used to date Matthew Morrison for a little bit, which I think is quite weird, thinking about how it's Mr Schuster and Rachel's relationship, but I guess it's quite cute together when you think about it, as Leo and Matt. But anyways, my main point is I hope you like this video, and you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, haters are gonna hate, but as long as Leah's happy, and that's all I really care about, my idol being happy, and things like that, um, so I hope you guys, to wrap it up, like this video, and enjoyed watching, if you did, please subscribe, and comment below, who you want me to do in the comment section next week, um, if you guys decide not to comment again, that's fine, um, I will just do it on Ira Vera, who's gonna be the cutest mummy, by the way, um, but I'll go to all of that next week if uh, you guys don't want me to with anyone else in the meantime. So I hope you guys like. So remember, comment, subscribe and keep watching. Alright guys, subscribe. Bye.